Good morning, everybody. Dennis Engelbrecht with the Family Business Institute, Digging Deeper. Today, I want to talk about community development in your business. Uh, recently, in a couple of uh, strategic planning sessions, uh, you know, we, we came upon, I guess you'd say, a couple of companies who did a fair amount of community involvement, but they didn't seem to be capturing uh, the benefit from them. Their organizations didn't have the pride that usually comes from that community envelop development. So started to think about asking, well, why that is and, and how can you get the most out of your community development program? Uh, you know, if you're like most contractors, you're, you're probably very generous and, and love sharing success and, and probably have genuine care uh, for a lot of things in your community, the community itself, the industry, uh, and, and certain charities and, and such also. But, you know, are you getting the most out of your company's involvement in those things? And I think probably most people don't. So, uh, you know, in addressing this with a couple of companies that we're going through planning with, uh, tried to lay out a couple of areas to help you get the most out of your community development. So consider these. First of all, what we find in a lot of organizations is there really is no champion or anybody in charge of, of the community development. Uh, a lot of times it's very responsive. Things come in, employees might come in with an idea, and it gets tossed around the table between the owners or the leadership group. And you say, oh, yeah, we'll support that. We'll sponsor that. We'll do that billboard. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll do a collection for that, that, that sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, having a champion, uh, either just from the rank and file, it doesn't have to be a leader, but somebody who's really passionate about it and can organize those things, that can really be helpful. And it may be, you know, the one of the leaders, one of the ownership group that takes that on, uh, you know, and really is in charge of it and in charge of getting the most out of it. Uh, but I think that, you know, that's the first step is somebody's got to care about it and it's got to be somebody's job. Uh, if it's not, it just kind of flows in and out and, and will tend to be erratic. Uh, Couple of great ideas that I've seen along the way. Uh, very recently with a company that provides service days, uh, provides a couple of service days a year so any employee in the organization can take an additional day off to go, you know, do meals on wheels or, or you know, do a habitat for humanity thing, uh, those types of things. And, you know, it's very interesting by, uh, you know, allowing your employees to take that time. Not only do they come back to work more reflect, more refreshed and probably more prideful, but they, they connect the company and the community. And, and that really does a special thing, I think, with the culture of the company and, and the way people feel about their employer and their employment. So, uh, you know, getting your people involved uh, is very, very important. And getting involved on a personal basis, not just with money. Uh, the other thing I've seen done very well by some companies is highlighting the involvement and the successes from those involvement. Sometimes it's just photo, you know, you might have in the newsletter, you have the photo of the team that went out and built the Habitat House or went out and, you know, helped one of your employees do a new foundation on their garage. Uh, I've seen somebody even do an annual report and, and probably the biggest thing in that annual report was uh, the team members, again, being together, working in the community on various involvements they were and things like that. But by highlighting those successes, it really helps build pride in the organization and the things that the organization is doing. Again, you know, just recently I've, I've gone to a, uh, a couple of companies where they're donating a lot, they're giving a lot of money, but there's no connection. And, and in a lot of cases, the employees don't even know what the company is involved in. So, so they're not getting the full advantage of that pride aspect. I think that that helps build uh, the culture. So, so highlight that. And, and by the way, don't just highlight the things the company is doing. 
find things that your employees are doing on their own. Now, you, you'll probably find if you did a, you know, a question around one of your meetings or something, you know, what things are you involved in your community? And you find people are involved in their church, they're involved in their community, they're doing meals for wheels or whatever. Uh, you know, they're donating here and they're donating there. So find those things that, you know, your people in the company are doing as individuals as well and highlight those. And again, that just tends to build up that teamwork, pride, and have a better feeling about the people, you know, you're working with and among. Uh, and then again, you know, I want to reemphasize this, but anytime you can get involved in something where a team of people are actually going to do it. You know, I, I was at a bar last night at a, at a member's wedding, uh, and, you know, 80 people in red shirts came in and just did a, you know, a little togetherness thing around a charity. And, and I think, you know, when your people get together and do something like that, if it's a fun run or, or again, building a habitat house or something like that, those, those things where your, your team gets together and does something for somebody else, they, they just have a greater meaning, meaning sometimes than your own, than your business success. Uh, Another thing to think about is helping your own. Uh, some companies uh, create funds and actually are looking for opportunities. So, you know, it may be, you know, one of your team members, family members is sick and suffering from cancer or something, or, or you know, the, the wind blew down their barn. Uh, so you go rebuild their barn. But, you know, if you keep your, your tentacles up for things that are happening, you know, among your community uh, of employees and their families and their communities, I think you'd find opportunities also to help your own. And those really get a connection and, and can create something special when, when you help your own folks. And whether you do a, you know, a special fund around that or something, it's not necessarily important. It's just most important to look for those opportunities and, and try to build on those. And then finally, uh, you know, you can get your business hat back on and, and think about, okay, is, is my community involvement uh, strategic? And, you know, there's nothing wrong with it being strategic. There's nothing wrong with it having a business benefit. You know, so if, if your people are involved in Rotary, which does good, or the Lions Club, which does good or whatever, uh, th that's got a lot of benefits. You know, first of all, you know, oftentimes you're in the right place to meet and know the influencers in town. So, you know, when they're sending business some way, they send it to you. So, you know, there, there is a return for that. The other thing that happens when your people are involved in those is they develop as leaders by being among the community leaders and, and being in those places in the community. So, you know, there's a dual benefit there. So not necessarily directly related to the giving and doing good, but still part of your community development is getting your folks out and involved in the community and involved in those organizations. And they'll feel better about themselves. And again, uh, it'll reflect well on your company and certainly your company will benefit from those relationships and, and the good feelings people have about your company as well. So uh, in summary, if you haven't looked at your community development program uh, in a while, there probably are a lot of ways that th that can help your culture, help your community involvement, give back, uh, all of which are important. So again, thanks a lot. Dennis Engelbrecht, Digging Deeper.